Hello and welcome to a new lesson. What is economics? In this lesson, we will talk about meaning of economics, definition, and explanation. Lecture one: English for students of economics. Let's discuss the idea. Literal meaning of economics. The word economics comes from two Greek words. The first one is oikos, and it means a house. And the second one is nemein, and it refers to to manage. Briefly, we can say economics is all about managing a household, managing the affairs of a house. But how? Using the limited funds or resources available. How you are able to manage affairs of house within the resources, within the wealth, within the funds available to you, and in the most satisfactory manner possible. How one could manage. the day to day economic activities of household within the limited money you have in the most satisfactory possible manner this is basically the literal interpretation of the word economics okay we continue our discussion definition of economics according to adam smith he wrote a book in 1776 and the name of the book is an inquiry into nature and causes of wealth of nations in this book which was written in 1776 he says he defines he explains economics the science of wealth so according to adam smith economics is the study of the science of wealth that is to say how wealth is created how money is used and how the entire economic life of a human being is managed this is basically the definition given by adam smith we continue our discussion take another definition definition of economics definition number 2 as explained by alfred marshall and he wrote in his book principles of economics in 1890 and what he says he defines economics as a study of mankind in the ordinary business of life it means that economics is all about studying the economic activities of human being in his day to day affairs of life in his day to day management of life because life without economics is in fact no life normally we say human is social animal but we forget that human is also an economic animal without economy being run around him he or she cannot exist in any way the affairs of economy has to be related with the needs of the human beings we continue our discussion about economics that is to say explanation of economics economics in fact is a branch of social science the study of how things are made moved around and used in the field of economics we study how things are made how things are manufactured how things are created how things are brought into birth how things are brought into existence all the things that we see around they have been made they have been created by different companies sometimes we create things we make things by our own hand sometimes big companies manufacture things so here the point is that the study of how things are made moved around and after we create things or after the products are made after the things are made then we try to move them to the market move them to the proper place so that the people see them and try to use them in their day to day needs of life and used so economics is all about how things are made how things are marketed and then how those things are being used by the people we continue our discussion it looks at that is to say economics it looks at how people businesses governments and countries choose to use their resources so economics is all about as an individual how we manage our economic resources what is our income and what should be our spending normally people calculate in everyday affairs of life likewise big business likewise governments likewise countries they also do the same how to use their resources their funds their wealth according to the needs of the time that is the point here and this is all about economics we continue our discussion economics is also the study of how work and business are run so in the field of economics we try to understand how things go on how works go on and how businesses are run because without work the business cannot be established business cannot be run 
both are interlinked and complementary to each other so in the field of economics we not only study the aspects of business but how the business empire is established we continue we have some more ideas it focuses that is to say economics focuses on the production distribution and consumption of goods and services so another aspect of study of economics is that it focuses upon production how things are produced how things are made how things are created how things are manufactured and after they are manufactured and produced then how they should be distributed how they should be marketed how they should be brought to the people how they should be brought to the light of the public eye and then consumption that is to say how they should be consumed by the people how they could be used by the people in what way in what quantity and at what pace of time so economics is all about production distribution and consumption of what of of course goods goods means things items that you make that you manufacture and services services that once your goods are ready once your things are ready once you have manufactured things then we need services to bring them to the public to market them to the public to market them to the full view of public to bring them to the eyes of public so that they can see and they can use this what we refer to services so economics is all about the production distribution and consumption of goods and services in that way now let's review of lesson talk about review what we have discussed so far the word economics is derived from two greek words oikos a house and nemen to manage in other words we can say it means managing a household using the limited funds or resources available in the most such in the most satisfactory manner possible we have next point adam smith in his book an inquiry into nature and causes of wealth of nations 1776 defines economics as the science of wealth we have some more ideas alfred marshall in his book principles of economics 1890 defines economics as a study of mankind in the ordinary business of life and in the last we have economics is a branch of social science it focuses on the production distribution and consumption of goods and services hope you understand the concept thank you and goodbye